explain yourself. Uh, right, uh, so the day after weaning, um, those, I haven't got the money, uh, the prices back from the store lambs, but those prime lambs did uh, just over 100 bucks, I think. So, not great. $6.90 or whatever the schedule was. So, uh, yeah, hit rock bottom. But anyway, that's what it is. We spent the morning crutching up all these ewes, so just putting them through the race wall. Um, you've seen me do that before, so I didn't video anything. Um, I'll link a video up here somewhere about the last time we did that. Um, but yeah, it went really well, we got them all done. So now we're just setting up a dip, uh, it's a spray dip, um, and we're just gonna run them all through. So they'll be dipped and crutched, then they can go up on the hill and we don't have to worry about them for six weeks. So yeah, it's just a, Bit of a jigsaw puzzle getting it all together and uh, we'll wait for the tank to fill. So we'll crack on, uh, get it set up and then I'll explain what chemical we're going to use. Oh, got to shift this. So when I built this um, little triangle thing here um, for the for the loading ramp. Built it in mind with the spray race. So put the spray race right there where the loading ramp is and um, the use flow out there really, really well. Battery operated. We click that. We should hear it tick. There you go. So the electronics are working, which is good. Right, suction side there. Pressure side there. test fire before we put any, any chemical in. Let's make sure it's all running right. Um, sort out any bugs. If there are any. The bypass is on. That should be all pretty set. That's on, that's on. This needs a filter on it or a, some sort of way. It, it's sucking with the pressure of the pump, it's sucking onto the walls of the um, the walls of the tank, which is not working. So you get rid of that and that. Then all that boundary blade coming in handy. Fence tester, pocket knife. Coming handy as a knife, not a... It comes in handy as a knife, yeah. Yeah. It gave me electric shocks. <laughs> What'd you find? Huh? What did you find? What did I find? I'm going to get this off. <laughs> Can't we make a good team? Why? Oh, Alistair, what about that tip over there? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hey, Alistair, couldn't we make a filter? Oh, yeah. So, we're not making a filter. We're just going to connect this here. Oh, you already got one. On to the tap, the bottom of this. What is it? A filter? No. What is it then? Just a connector. Oh, so you haven't got a filter? No, that's that's what I made for the water intake, which would work as a filter. Yeah. But we don't need it. Why? Uh, because there's nothing in there to filter. Still be good, wouldn't it? 
So that's going to go under there. You make that. Pull that done. I did. Look at you. Heated that up. Drilled it or drilled a hole in it. Heated that up. Pushed that in. Drilled with lots and lots and lots and <laughs> lots of holes. So yeah. that'll be an intake. Sit that in the creek for the gravity feed system up there. Do they not have things to like kind of do away with the pump? Already on the shelf? They do, but they cost money. And time. And we that, don't have them right here right now. That definitely cost you time. Oh not a lot of time. Right. Uh we should be all go here. Go and get some chemical. Okay. Yeah. So we're using two products. Uh Extenistead. So thousand mils per um so one litre per thousand litres of water. So throw that in there. This is all for a 12 week kind of protection of um, fly strike, which would be great. And then the other one is, it's quite congealed, uh, Venus liquid. So just, we've used this combination before and it seems to work quite well. So we'll throw two litres of this in there. Double the strength. It smells like moss. Moss? Mm. That stuff you're leaning on, that's moss. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's lichen. Same family. Right, throw this in here. Mix it all in. So this system puts on about a litre of water per sheep that runs through it. So uh, we've probably got about a thousand sheep to do, used to do, um, over these and some of those over there and the hot the, the tutus. Um, yeah. So this will be full. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Wait for that to fill. And crush a few of those other ones up. Ladies are being very patient. Do these buggers first. Hmm. It was only um was it six ten maybe with wee bits of fly strike. Tiny bit. So um so, yeah, and that's probably, a lot of that's probably from them being in the yards the last couple of days. Um, but you definitely got them in time, just with the fly just starting to happen, so. You've been very lucky. Yeah, um, certainly not as bad as we have in previous years, just, I think it's just because it's been quite dry the last three weeks. So the lambs have done really well the last kind of three weeks, and yeah, the ewes have dried out, so, which is good. And you see there's no lumpy wool, well not really much lumpy wool, not as bad as it has been, so. Summer is finally here. <laughs> I didn't catch this on camera. There's a wee hole there they bust through. You didn't catch it on camera. I didn't. You didn't catch me swearing. I caught you swearing. Oh. Yeah. You just swore for quite a long time afterwards. <laughs> so 569 using in this mob. Um, then we've got 230, two, well, 260 plus another 150. Yeah. 900 to dip, something like that. Right, so we are ready to go. Flick the pump on. Get that going. Turn the bypass on. Pressure coming up. Open this. And try and chase them through. Look, freedom. We're gonna put the drone up.
finished <laughs> the end to another quite uh exhausting day so third day third day in a row in the sheep yards um plus mustering so we're getting there another half a day tomorrow just to finish off the rest of the dipping um yeah so we might uh i don't know do i end this video here or do i continue it tomorrow might continue it tomorrow <laughs> and um yeah so we'll we'll see you tomorrow morning welcome back so got all the ewes uh yeah older ewes and tutus in the yards so we're gonna run everything through um like these girls here we're gonna draft off the shorn ones try and pull out some culls and um yeah the the ones that haven't been shorn like that one there we'll go through the dip the rest have been dipped so we'll get on to this and uh it's the fourth fourth day in the yards so We'll get on to this and uh, try and make it only half a day. I think you work towards a cuddle. What now, boss? We run them through the dip. Those are cows. Those are done. Oh. Got a woody one through. Those can go out, but I'll count them. Yeah. Let them out. Put them through the dip. And then we can start taking the main mob away. Those cows, cow, those cows in the yards need to be drafted through again. Yeah. So do those. Yep. So just doing them up with the ones at the end oh, and drafting through? No, but when we do? Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh. no. No. We'll just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. Hey Jess. Count them out. Dip them, take all them away, and then we'll see what that's left in the yard, yeah? Okay, sound like a plan? Good. <laughs> see ya. And some more counting sheep. now we'll, we'll, we'll draft these up we'll draft up these coals and yeah there's a couple that need to go out here so we'll get them done no no because then like after about six or eight tooth you get a full mouth so we were just talking so, about how these have jumped over so that they they're aged up so um until they lose their start losing their baby teeth they can be killed as a lamb um, on a better schedule. So now these will be killed as a ewe because they've got mature teeth. So those two big teeth there, they um, they come up when they're um, just over a year old. So then they call them two tooth, two tooths. And before that, we call them a hoggit. Hoggit, yeah. So two tooth, if uh, yeah, if they're um, if they're lambing, call them a hoggit. Two teeth, and then next year she'll grow another two, so there'll be four teeth. No, four, she'll four big teeth. Replace she'll, those two baby yeah, teeth with yeah. two big what teeth. Do you call them and then four big teeth? six tooth, mm. and then pretty much um, after that it's a full mouth, so it's just a mixed age you. But a full wanted. mouth, just in case you didn't know, is, is never on the top. No, no, that's a hard pad on the top. Mm. It's only ever. Um, teeth on the bottom. Yep, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. 
she's a bit dusty. Ah! Elsa is dropping you by dust. Suffice to say, this is my favourite mob. It is, yeah. No, they look really great. They look good. They move good. Yeah. Good? Well. Wow. Um, right, oh, look, we'll, all those sheep are coming back out of I'll catch a few of these and then we'll put them through the dip. They can go with the main mob and then we'll set it so we. Is the main mob the one that's coming back out here? Yeah, it is. Right. Getting the last of these to do through the dip. And the last mob to do. And we're finally finished with our yard work for a little bit. But they're running really well. Had enough, Gina? Of you? Of me. <laughs> No, of the yards and of me. You bait me and then turn the video off. <laughs> Jasper! So that's it, we're all done. Uh, all dipped, apart from the coals, but yeah, they won't get dipped. They need a couple of knee shearing and um, yeah, and they can go down to the lease block. So oh, after, well, we're in the yards Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then today's Friday. So some pretty big days um we're all done and i was gonna start marking the calf this afternoon but i might give that a break and try and do that sunday take the kids to the swimming pool and um yeah <laughs> we're a bit naked but we're still married aren't we after oh, no. after four days in the yards <laughs> well, the solicitor wrote to me here's, here's a hair back <laughs> oh well we might leave that there. Um, one thing, if you're still watching, it means you're probably a, a, quite a regular viewer. One thing I wanted to ask was, do you think it would be a good idea to do like a kids, um, a Kiwi Farmer Kids? So, you're thinking about that for a wee bit more educational, just quite short videos, little videos that Gina can take the, Gina's school teacher can take the, Take the reins on this one and um it won't be another channel it'll just probably be a playlist but um yeah we've been thinking about this for a wee bit so chuck in the comments let us know what you think but um yeah we'll leave that one there and uh might go and have a have a cuppa so yeah we'll stop text from it looking the drink the dip <laughs> yeah old fella you're not meant to <laughs> you might be thirsty but you probably shouldn't be drinking that I'm not telling you off. Come here, Tex. 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 Come here, you old bugger. Hey. You're all right. You old fella. Hey. Oh, you want pets as well. Do you reckon you've done enough to deserve pets? Jasper? Do you reckon you've done enough? Do you reckon you've been good enough? Oh, I think you have. I think you've done really exceptional. Yeah, you first weaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.